Okay. Well, this is exciting. Hello, welcome back. I am very excited about today's video. I think I start singing when I talk, when I'm like nervous, excited. And I'm nervous, but like in a good way, because one, what's in my bag videos inherently are very nostalgic. It was the very first YouTube video I ever posted back when I was 16, I was a little baby. So today we're gonna do a what's in my tote bag video. This one is extra special because this is literally my tote bag. Like, this is mine. ShopJackalForbes.com, I'm very excited. It's very weird to hold something that you like made and like, it. I, I can't explain it, it's very strange. Um, I'm obsessed with this. This says no boring salads. You all know I say no boring salads allowed all the time. It's just, um, it's a truth that I live by, especially eating vegan. If you also eat plant-based, you probably will share the experience that you go out to a restaurant and there's nothing you can order or veganize except for a plain garden salad. And it's like a lettuce with oil and vinegar on it. And it's like $25. It's so annoying. It's such a boring salad. I hate that. That's where the whole sentiment came from. And I'm just obsessed with green right now. So I knew I wanted to make a tote bag in green. I also just wear tote bags all the time around the city. Like you can just throw everything inside. They're so easy. And I actually ended up making two other variations as well, which I have right here. I'm so excited about these as well. This is the one that I feel like I've been using the most. I feel like you don't want to ever like pick a favorite like child or a favorite, but I think this is my favorite at the moment. But these are both tied for second place. This says, eat your greens. And it's just so cute. I love the graphic on this one. I literally think it's so beautiful. And then the final tote bag is this one here that says, long story long, which if you've been with me from the first merch drop last year, long story long was the sweatsuit, the first tie-dye sweatsuit that we dropped. So I felt like this made sense to tie it all together. And again, I like the more like simple graphic of this one. So all the colors kind of go together and they all work. So I've just been using all of those lately, but today I'm gonna to show you what's inside this tote bag. You know, it's a hot tote bag summer. Hot girl tote, but tote bags are in, they're the thing. It's great, let's talk about it. Before we hop into the bag, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about today's sponsor, Squarespace. I'm sure you've heard me talk about Squarespace before and that's because I love them, I'm obsessed with them. It actually ties in very easily to this whole merch conversation because shopjacklinforbes.com, which is where you can pre-order all the merch bags right now, that is powered by Squarespace. Squarespace really is an all-in-one platform that can help elevate your business and really take everything to the next level. I've loved using Squarespace over the past like three, four years. They're incredible. It's so fun to dive into this whole world of commerce and selling merch online. So if you were thinking of making a website, do it with Squarespace. Head to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline Forbes. You get 10% off your first purchase. We'll chat a bit more about Squarespace at the end of the video. But until then, let's go into the tote bag. I just can't stop looking at it in the viewfinder. I just can't believe it's finally here. I know I wanted to do tote bags probably back in March, February, March, I think we started planning these ones out. And then I worked with my video editor to help create the graphics. Shout out to Megan, she did an epic job at bringing these ideas to life. And I was also so picky about the colors because I've been having a green moment. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, like, I mean, look at my eyes right now, they're green. I'm obsessed with green, like pistachio green. And um, I wanted to make sure that we brought that into all of the artwork. Anyways, um, I don't want to talk about this the whole time, but I feel like, what else should I tell you guys? Okay, if you really like these, if you want to get them, on August 17th, that's when the pre-order opens for all of these tote bags. So if you're watching this now, it's August 17th, 2021. That means you can go to shopjacklinforbes.com and pre-order the tote bag. Whichever one you like best, or all three of them, I don't know, you do you. So if you do want to get yourself a tote bag, we're not going to be dropping them or selling them any other time. So you've got to order it right now during this pre-order. A big core belief when I was launching Shop Jacqueline Forbes is that I don't want there to be waste. I want it to be as environmentally sustainable um, as it can be. And for me, that means making things as small batches, not overproducing any items. I don't want there to be any waste. So we're doing everything made to order. So place your pre-order now. That way we'll make the perfect amount. Not one more, not one less. Anyways, enough of that. I'm just very excited. 
Um, okay, let's hop in to the actual tote bag. So mine is kind of like clunky, like I have a lot of things in here. What I will say, now this is gonna be like one giant plug, but obviously I love these bags and um, I believe in them. That's why I've launched them. But I love these tote bags, they're super, super durable. I was testing out a ton of different samples and different canvas totes. This one is actually 100% cotton, which I prefer. It's just way more luxe feeling and it wears and just like sits really well. Like I love the way it looks when things are in it. Like it has a good slouch to it, if that makes any sense. I actually decided to go with no internal pockets inside just because I've had issues in the past of, you know, high placement pockets and then like a phone is in there or a key and it'll like flop over. I just know personally, I actually don't prefer pockets in my tote bags. So I ended up going with no pockets in this at all. So it's just one giant, one giant free for all in there, but in like the best way. This is literally what I've been walking around with and going out to dinner with the last couple of nights. So like everyone always says, I haven't cleaned this out. I'll just show you kind of what's in here and what I've been using. Okay, first things first, this is probably the biggest thing in the tote bag. A good old trucker hat, I guess you would call this. I've also been having a moment with trucker hats. Actually, should I even say this? This specific trucker hat that I'm holding is actually another sample. I thought at one point that I was going to do a hat and the tote at once, but then I decided to just focus on three solid tote bags. Um, but we could do a hat down the line, so let me know if um, that's something you're into. But I've been having a huge hat moment lately, and I just... One, I don't want my part line to get sunburnt, which has happened many of times before, and... Um, I don't know if I'm just having like a bad hair day, I could just throw in a hat. I'll throw my hair into a pony. I'm just, I'm always wearing a hat. So that's gotta be an essential. Next up, another larger item. You guys are probably gonna roll your eyes at me. This is a camelback, kind of like thermos, like not tin, but like one of those ones, not like the plastic ones. The camelback Eddy one liter water bottle that I always have in every video. That is my tried and true water bottle. But if I'm being completely honest, the little like straw nipple thing, it, it never goes back down fully and I don't trust that it's not gonna leak. So this one is more of like a 24 hours, stay cold or hot kind of thermos thing. So this one like is a screw on lid. So I just feel more safe running around with this in my bag. So this is Camelback, but my favorite Camelback is still the Eddie, okay? Don't be confused. Don't be confused. Next up we have, oh, I pulled out two in one. Little comb, this is from the brand Thick here. I honestly don't really use these in my regular life. These are exclusively like a bag comb because they're so thin, like they just slip right in there. But it does the trick because I have very long hair and it's always getting tangled. Next up, sunglasses. This isn't a Desi, like Desi Perkins sunglass case. These are definitely not the Desi Perkins sunglasses inside. These are, these are definitely from Amazon. I feel like everyone has these glasses, but literally out of all of my sunglasses, no matter how expensive or bougie or fancy they are, I always go for just these like cheap Amazon ones. They just work, okay? Let me show you the free for all truly happening at the bottom of this. Next up, a little clip. I love a claw clip moment. I've been doing this thing lately where I'll, I'll do like a high ponytail and then I twist and it's like a half bun high ponytail. If you watch some of my other videos, you'll see it in my hair. It's hard to explain. It's the only thing that works with my long hair, otherwise it like falls out. These claw clips are the best claw clips in the game. These are from a brand called Shop Machete, and these are the biggest size that they do. I think they're called like the Jumbo or like Super Jumbo, like whatever the biggest one is, that's these ones. I have them in a couple different colors, but this like checkered one is my favorite. Also, it looks hella good on the bag if you even leave my claw clip there it's like oh wait that wasn't a good clip let me fix it let me fix it they're like oh my god i'm so i'm so chic i'm so pinterest i just keep my claw clip on my tote bag <laughs> i just feel cool okay let me feel cool next up i have a face mask <laughs> i have a face mask i have a face mask as i literally choke I literally just choked on nothing. Um, this is a, actually it's kind of cute. It's like a little tie-dye face mask. My issue, I need to complain about this for a second. Any white face mask is getting makeup all over it. Like there's just no way this will ever be clean. I actually don't think I've ever worn this with makeup on, which is how this one has no stains on it, but it just makes me feel so bad about myself. I take it off and I go, I am a disgusting human being when I see the lipstick and just like 
the cake face on my mask. We're not gonna talk about that anymore. It's sad, okay? Next up, scrunchie. I probably wear a scrunchie every single day. And I probably have about 15 black, like, silky feeling scrunchies. In the bottom I have all these little, little items. I've got Nude Sticks hand sanitizer. This is another really good bag item. Not necessarily the tote bag because this is obviously so big, but if you have like a tiny little purse, that's where this tiny little comb and the tiny little hand sanitizer come in handy. I have another hand sanitizer. This one smells really good. This is from the brand called Dom and it's a lavender sanitizer spray. This smells so good. It just smells like straight up lavender oil, but it's like one of those spray spray sanitizers. Okay, we've got some AirPods. I just got AirPods like six months ago, maybe like eight months ago now, but I was so late to the AirPod game. I don't know what I was doing. Okay, lip products. That's probably the only makeup item that I ever travel with or like leave the house with. I've got lip liner here in Whirl. I've got this Laneige Gummy Bear Glowy Lip Balm. Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme, and then this is like my go-to lipstick. I'm not a huge lipstick wearer, but if I am gonna wear a lipstick, it's gonna be like a lighter kind of color to do like a bit of an ombre lip. And this is Nude Kate by Charlotte Tilbury. Actually, I could use a little, a little top up. I've really overlined my lips today. Don't look too close, okay? Don't look too close. Then I have, wow, so many little minis in here. Next up, I've got Listerine Breath Strips. I honestly did not think they still made these. I thought these, only existed in an alternate universe when I was like in grade seven and eight, but these still exist and they're actually oddly very convenient. I'm normally more of a gum gal, but actually that's not true. I'm normally more of a mint gal because I don't like to have to spit out my gum if I'm like going into a meeting or I don't know, doing whatever. These actually are very effective. Would recommend a Listerine breath strip. Next up, I've got a little mini perfume. This is a, I think it's Chloe by Chloe. So I don't know, one of the little Chloe perfumes. I mean, it smells, it smells good. I feel like I've actually grown to like the smell a bit more. I'm not a very perfumey perfume person, if that makes any sense. Like I, I'm the type of person that just has a very immature nose palette. Like I, I don't like a lot of the smells of perfumes. They kind of make me sick and I just, they turn me off. Um, that being said, this was like a little like gift set mini and I just keep it in my purse just so I have something on the go if I smell horrendous. Um, and I smell this and I think of all the times I was like sweaty in the bathroom and just like needed a top up. So I think I've kind of grown to like the smell now, but, um, <laughs> convenient to have a little mini. Also, I always have floss on me. I have the biggest obsession with flossing. It's like probably borderline sawing my gums down. Like, I don't know if it's recommended. My dentist, you know, comment down below. Let me know what's up. I guess it's better to over floss than to not floss at all. Anyways, I'm always the friend that has floss on me. So we need to include that, of course. Then, oh, this is another very Jacqueline thing, an emery board. This is like literally one of those like cheapy, kind of like thin ones that you don't really use after one use. That being said, I've probably had this in my bag for a year. I hate when my nails snag on things and um, I actually have nothing on my nails today, but I'm a nail fanatic. I love doing my own nails. And um, if there's a snag and it's about to rip, like that is my, I hate it, so I always need to have a nail file. Then I've got a not used, but looks a little too well loved to be a brand new napkin. Um, it's one of those like, you know those thick kind of like bathroom napkins that are like really bougie and like thick? It's the only way I can explain it. I think I got this at a restaurant or something and I'm someone who actually drools a lot and like slobbers. Um, I also chronically always have a stuffy nose and like, am snotty. So I think I just threw this in my bag and was like, this will help me one day and I know it will be useful. Then you've got your little to-go wallet. This one is lived in. I've used this for so long and mine looks so dingy, but I honestly can't get rid of it. I have another like mini to-go kind of wallet and I keep more of my like American cards and like travel stuff in that one. This is still my everyday wallet though. <laughs> it's good, it really is. And the final thing in the tote bag Oh, it should have been a non-boring salad. That would have been a really good little like, no boring salads, you know? Anyways, it is a food related item. It is the Cliff Builders Protein Bar. This is the peanut butter chocolate, I think is the flavor. Um, I normally always have a protein bar or like a granola bar in my bag because I get hangry and there's nothing worse than just like, I don't know, being out somewhere and you don't have time to get food and I don't wanna be hungry and it's just, 
not good. So I always carry a protein bar. Anyways, that is the tote. This is an empty. Look at how cute it is. I still can't get over it. Let me hold them all up. You can vote which one is your favorite. They're honestly all so special for different reasons. Like I love the simplicity of the long story long. I just think it's nice, sleek, and modern. And then this one, the Eat Yo Greens, is just very Jacqueline. It feels like jazzy and I just love the actual art on it. And like, of course we needed to have an avocado. It's just, I love it. I love all the colors too. Like this one's definitely the busiest. But then the no boring salads, like I said, I'm in my green obsession. It's just so green and bubbled. And I like that it's a bit, not that it's warped, but like, it's not like you just look at the bag and you're like, no boring salads. Like you're like, oh, this looks cool. Like that's what you see first versus the actual text. I don't know. I honestly am just like so, so over the moon with all of these. What can I say? I'm a tote bag kind of girl and I just carry my tote bag absolutely everywhere. But yeah, I'm just honestly so, so happy. And um, I'm just excited to hear your feedback. Like if you actually like them and like think they're cool, cause I think they're so sick. But that is what is in my tote bag. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I do wanna give another shout out to Squarespace. Like I said, Squarespace is just a dream partner of mine because I genuinely use them and I was using them for years before I ever started working with them. I had my original website, it was just JacquelineForbes.ca and that was just kind of like my portfolio and obviously I used to work as a makeup artist before so it was like a nice landing page to just have all of my work in one place. And then I launched Shop Jacqueline Forbes, which is my merch site, AKA go there right now, go pre-order your tote bag, you know, get that order in boo. But I launched Shop Jacqueline Forbes about almost like eight, nine months ago. And I had never done, obviously, like I had never sold anything online. I didn't know how that worked. And honestly with Squarespace, they make it super user friendly. You don't need to be an expert. You just need to have an idea and want to start. They basically have all the answers to all of your questions online, on their forums. They have a chat as well. So if you have any road bumps along the way, you will be able to figure it out. Trust me, if I could do it, you can do it too. I could just go on and on about all the amazing different features with Squarespace, but it doesn't matter whether you are, you know, doing a merch website and selling something, whether you want to have a website to kind of demonstrate your portfolio and have your body of work on there, whether you just want it to be an extension of your business and to just kind of help validate it and take it to the next level. Squarespace really has the tools to do all of it and bring it to life and make it as easy as possible. So if you've been thinking about making a website, this is your side, do it with Squarespace. Head to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline Forbes to get 10% off. Go do it. Let me know how you like it. Let me know how you love it. And also after the fact, go to shop Jacqueline and check out my Squarespace website. It'll give you an idea of like the templates and what it looks like and what potential you have, you know? Anyways, I am such a happy Jack today. Woo! It's just nice to like work on something, see it come to life, be able to hold it and be like, oh, this is the thing, time, energy, it's all here in this physical thing. Um, I'm super excited. Thanks as always for just supporting me every step of the way, even with the Shop Jack and Forbes stuff. Like it's very nerve wracking to be so like passionate about something and work really hard on something. And then when you just kind of present it to the world, then that's it. You're like, okay, I just hope people like it and take it seriously and think it's cool. It, it really makes you kind of feel like childlike and vulnerable in a really weird way that I don't think I'm normally used to. But yeah, even from the first launch when we did the sweatsuits, I felt so insanely supported and in watching all of your orders come in from around the world when that had launched, I literally, I mean, if you watched the vlog from it or whatever, I started crying because it just, it was very like emotional and as much as I DM a lot of you and I talk to you online and I know you're all real people, it still kind of blows my mind that there's real people all around the world that watch me and like want to wear my tote bag that I made or my sweatsuit, like that's so crazy. So. Genuinely from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. You make all of these weird, crazy dreams even possible. And I don't know how I got so lucky. I really, like, I genuinely pinch myself every day. You know I do my gratefulness journal and my roses and thorns. And this whole crazy thing is, it was a part of it every single day. So thank you so much. Go to shopjacklinforbes.com, check it out. I'll obviously have all the info and all the pre-order dates and what date you have to order it by if you wanna get your hands on it. Thank you everyone for watching. Subscribe, comment, follow, like, do all the things. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.